Don't worry, I'm okay.
how you build things on skids. Oops. Today has been a very relaxing day. Just trying to get ready for our sewer line, which is going to be, <laughs> in theory, installed tomorrow. Um, I've also got a dental appointment, and so I need to be pretty much ready so that Alyssa doesn't have to chase any of this stuff down. We, for a long time, have had reclaimed materials over here, and we've picked through them and built things with it, and we're to the point where a lot of that stuff is just garbage. It's full of nails, bolts, screws, things like that, and the amount of effort necessary to make it usable not really there. The cost to use it far outweighs the value of the material. So I've got a little bit of firewood left to cut up. I wanted to move that wood shed because it's in the path, the potential path of the sewer line. And then I want to stock it with this firewood. I think we went through one full firewood shed and then a little bit more last winter, which is a pretty harsh winter in the hot tub, keeping it either hot or above freezing. We're pretty late in the year, so hard to say. Guess we'll just prepare for the worst. Still have a lot of work to do on the timber frame. We're trying to just pick the big to-dos off the list one thing at a time. Getting this sewer line connected is pivotal to us being able to move the RV into the garage this winter. I know we've said that a thousand times, but maybe you can kind of get a sense of uh, how critical that is for us, how valuable or how much we're clinging to the hope that we can be inside there. And then we can work, we can do things inside all winter long. I'm not saying that we expect ourselves to work, 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 but it would be nice to have the option. These smaller tasks, they are part of home building. Um, we're trying to share the whole story and the whole story is that between these larger, bigger, more satisfying tasks are lots and lots of life tasks, things that just have to be done. Alyssa and I are very hard on ourselves because we have high expectations for what we can accomplish in a day. And what's funny is I think we've kind of set that expectation on our YouTube channel. People apparently think that we're gonna work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't know where they got that idea from. The thing is, on our to-do list, which we maintain and manage religiously, uh, all items on that list are not created equal. There are things on that list that are a 15 minute task, and then there are things on there that are two or three day task. And what's really frustrating is that sometimes in order to get to the two to three day task, you have to do loads and loads and loads of 15 minute tasks, which kind of wear you out. And then when it comes time for that bigger task, you just don't have a ton of energy left. And we've been kind of spittering and sputtering since the workshop, our energy's been kind of back and forth. I think if we're honest, we're kind of conserving energy. We know there's still one more, at least one more, really big push to get the sit panels on and dried in. And we're kind of running low on energy. So I think these, these smaller tasks are, tasks are good for our minds. They're good to help us kind of recover and relax, but I think ultimately, we're kind of keeping that last punch in the bag.
Well, I got a lot of work done today and it feels really good. I don't even really know what to say about today. This is kind of just one of those days. This is why we came here, was to slow down and kind of just enjoy the mundane. And we've done a horrifyingly bad job at it. If anything, our stress has been on a higher level than before we even came here. But I suppose we brought it on ourselves and uh, I think we're gonna own it. So I've got a long way to go with the hot tub, heating it from ice to 100. It's gonna take a while. You know, I just realized that work lights could also be hot tub lights. Right now, it is super peaceful out here. <sighs> Looks like our happy place has sprung a leak. Siri, send text message to Alyssa. If I get the hot tub hot tonight, will you join me? Question mark. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. Nice. What do you guys think she'll say? Siri, read text messages from Alyssa. Here are some recent messages from Alyssa. Heck yay. Like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? I hope we get the hot tub tonight. Yahoo! Ready to send it? Yeah. Thank you, Siri. I aim to please. Oh.